that's one of our latest homicides, man, but acts of hate, man, and not love, man, but I, I think we can fix all of this love, man. Hi, my name is Kenneth Cook. Uh, I was in federal prison for almost five years. Uh, I've been out about 10 months now. My mom was strung out on crack cocaine, the same um, drug my dad was selling. Uh, my dad was in the gangs, but we were always provided with some of the best things due to drug money. When my father went to prison, things got pretty rough. My mom was still addicted to crack cocaine, but um, we became uh, more or less fortunate. We didn't have the drug money supporting us no more. I think my mom wanted to change. I think she had enough. My dad was in prison. I just remember one day mom says, get your clothes, pack up, we're going to Nebraska. And I remember crying, Nebraska, what's Nebraska? My mom got a job. We're still, we're still poor. I remember getting food from the pantry. I remember not having the best clothes. We bumped into some people and started going to Bethel Missionary Baptist Church in South Omaha. I had this youth pastor, awesome guy, used to always come get us movies, basketball, sleepovers at his house. Just, you know, did everything that kept me out the way. Um, long story short, he had a higher calling to California to pastor a church. And just when he left, just everything went sour, man. I got more deeper in the gangs and robberies and shootings. And I felt abandoned, you know, and I didn't understand the higher calling. But from there, it's just everything in between, man. Uh, women, drugs, gangs, and, and it's all been two feet in, man. It's all been my all, not half of me. It's just I put my whole effort into those things. But that's what it was all about, man, my name. My name. I sold this uh, informant a gun for a tattoo, and three months later, man, it turned out it was a whole um, federal operation. So they indicted me. I was 22 at the time. I had a son, two daughters were born, and one on the way when they had captured me. Um, at the time, when I first got indicted, I thought I was going to be gone like 15 years off the flip, just knowing what I did. Sold two guns and sold them some crack cocaine with a gun involved. And I signed and took the, the four to five years. Age 22, they ended up sending me to the worst of the worst, United States penitentiaries. Every time I would feel some way, I would go get a tattooed on my face. You know, some people used to go bang hair on or drink or, you know, and mine was tattoos, man. Um, I had two on my face, so uh, I knew the feeling of how it felt. I got my forehead, it's, you know, if God is for me, then who could be against me? So I would feel that way, so I'd just go get it tattooed. And, I felt a lot of ways, man, and that's how this happened. But I don't regret it. I don't, I don't wake up and say, oh, I wish I wouldn't have did this. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't live like that, man, because uh, every time someone says, hey, hey, look at, you know, it's an opportunity for me to speak about God or encourage her. So it's, it's, it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing. God's taking it and using it. I just wanted to come home, get my kids. Stay out of trouble, bro. Get a little job. That's all I wanted to do. Go to church here and there. That, that's what I wanted to do, man. That was my goal. We're at a park, having some pizza and playing, and some lady comes up to me and she says, hey, sir, excuse me, I don't mean to be weird or intrude your space, but I had a dream about this guy with a whole bunch of tattoos, and this was yesterday, and today I see you, so it has to be you. Um, this lady's name is Bobby Joe from uh, Bridge North. One Sunday, we all go to Bridge. And, bro, from there, it's been an explosion. Uh, everything that I'm doing now, uh, as far as, uh, you know, reaching out, uh, you know, trying to reach broken people or, you know, encourage people, man, that, this was not part of the plan. So when I say God bumped into me, he bumped into me pretty hard, man, to where it's like, dude, excuse me. That was pretty rough. My experience, my encounter with God was people loving on me, man. I allowed my guilt and shame, man, to keep me from God, man. I heard a voice from God one day say, Kenny, focus on what you can do 
instead of the things that you can't. And what I say by that is there's been battles I've been suffering my whole life, man, that I've tried to change. But, um, man, just following God, man, it begin to shed off of me, man, without even trying. So there's still some struggles. I still struggle, man, but he's been amazing, man. Like, just thankful, man. I'm thankful for love.